Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Johnson and today I'm going to be talking about something really really hearty uh, that is happening right now in our, in our community and the society at large. A few weeks back I saw a message and I didn't want to talk about this thing but this message was very very hurting and I decided to come and make a video about it. Not just to backbite this person or to talk about or to talk about her family or any other thing, but so that even you out there, you should be aware of this. There's nothing else that we are talking about today apart from mental health. We are talking about mental health. A few weeks back, uh, a young lady, a 20, 20 year old young queen, lost her life. And she left a very hard cracking message on her IG. When I went through this message of this very young queen, it was really, really hard. She said that she was going through very tough times deeply. She pretended to be very happy in front of her parents, in front of her friends, but deep inside she was going through hell. But she couldn't get anyone to share with, and she did have anyone who showed that concern to talk to her or to let to give her space to share what was really at heart the previous episodes when i was talking about parenting i really talked about parents and friends and guardians and caretakers giving children hearing or listening ear for them to tell them their concerns their challenges their troubles what is troubling them what is challenging them Quite often parents think that young people or if you're very young, if you're still in school, you don't have what bothers you. They are not meant to be depressed. They are not supposed to be stressed. There is nothing that should be stressing you. You have no responsibilities. But I tell you, these young people, we have problems. They are stressed. They are depressed. They are frustrated. They need to be given attention. They need to be called at the table and asked what is taking place in their lives. So I'm very sorry for the family of this young lady that lost their beloved daughter, but she has gone. But what lesson have we learned from this? It was very, very unfortunate that this lady wrote all these notes of heart cracking summary on her IG. And I read through it. It was so, so worrying. And depressing that she couldn't share all that to her parents or neighbors or any other friend but she decided to put it on social media but she was no more she died just uh, on Tuesday here in Uganda uh, our national newspaper released some information that about 14 million Ugandans are fighting mental health and who could this be it's me and you People around you, you take concern to talk to those people around you. You take that responsibility to make sure that you sit down with your sisters, your siblings, your children, the people you're, you're taking care of, and ask them how has been their day, what is taking place in their lives. Or we just see them smile and we go away. Or when they try to tell us what they are going through, we just laugh it off and we think it's minor. This is a very big problem. Very many of us pass through these situations, but we don't get the attention or the right people to share with. But this is a very short video that I called on an emergency, so because this is an emergency. I saw these uh, two incidents taking place within one month. A girl died after a hard day. The national newspaper is released and they're saying 14 million people are mentally sick. In this situation, the economy is hard. But let's not take our lives because of the economy. These are actually things that we shall make and live. Parents, friends, let's take responsibility for one another. Let's share, let's talk with these people. These people have a lot that they are fighting within. But we have to talk to them so that we get to know what they are really going through. I'll give you about three uh, methods which I think might help you to fight. Because I may not sit with you and realize what you are going through. But as a person, there are three things that I think will help you uh, 
for you to go through all this uh, situation that is uh, going on because it's, it's something that we may not avoid in one night. Uh, number one, I'll say that seek for divine guidance. I don't care which religion you go to, which faith you believe in, but seek for that divine guidance. Go to your pastor, go to your reverend, go to your priest, go to any person that can give you that spiritual guidance. Talk to them. Tell them what you're going through. Tell them what you're facing. Their online ministries, their online churches, their online pastors, their online priests, their online... If you cannot go and face them, find those online contacts and get, get that divine guidance. It will really help. Number two, have a therapist. However much you might think you're okay, my brother, you're not okay. You might think you're very fine, you're okay, you have everything, nothing disturbs you, you're very, very fine, 100%. But you cannot be 100% upright. Get a therapist. I don't care what you're going to do, go get a therapist, go there, tell him or her everything. If you're to cry, cry out. Go there and cry. Go there and say anything that is at your mind. Go there and say everything that is at your heart. Talk to them. Get someone to talk to every day. Therapists are no longer that much expensive. Man. You can get them also as well online. You can meet them physically. Uh, divine guide, uh, people are there to guide us also. A therapist. You can have your parents as a therapist. You can have a trained professional therapist. But get someone that you can always talk to. Get mentors that you always share with your challenges and problems. Number three. Forgive anyone that hurt you. I'll give you a simple method that you can help you to heal from your past turmoils, past traumas, and past troubles that are really uh, bothering you. Just get one night, sit down in a room alone, get a piece of paper and a pen, write down everyone that hurt you, make a who hurt me list. Write down everyone that you think that comes in your mind that hurt you and it's not making you have that good days. Write them down. In front of that list, write what they did to you. Write everything that they did to you. After writing everything, everything that comes in your mind, everything that is at your heart, put it on the paper. After doing that, pray over that list. After praying over that list, talk to those people. Tell them, you did this to me, I've forgiven you, and I love you. After doing that, you will have offloaded a very big luggage, a very big baggage in your heart. Set yourself free. Forgive those people. I'm not saying that the people that wronged you come and dine with them again. You may not do that, but don't keep them at your heart. Don't keep them in your head. Don't let them bother your head for that long. Tell them, I've forgiven you, I love you. And you set yourself free by loving them and forgiving them you will not only be setting them free but you'll be setting yourself free if you do those three get a, a divine or spiritual guidance see a therapist forgive those that wronged you that's it all from me today be sure to subscribe to my channel like and share this information to whoever you think that might like them this has been a very short video that i wanted to talk about because of these scenarios that are going on in this uh, very very alarming economic period very many people are depressed and mentally disoriented because of what happened but check however much of the uh, things that are taking place let them not take us off the track let us keep our mental health stable everything begins in here if your mind is alert, nothing will destabilize you. That's it from me today. Have a nice day.